It is, it has an extremely powerful weapon, the Glaive Beam, which does three damage per room that it hits. And each shield that it passes through, it does one less damage. So even through one shield, it does two damage per room. But it does take 25 seconds to charge, which is basically forever. So that's kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, with a guy manning the system, that 10% reduction gets it down to 22 and a half seconds, which is huge. Uh, the ship does start with level two, uh, level two cloaking. We want to get that cloaking up to level three pretty much immediately. Uh, level three cloaking gives us 15 seconds of charge time. With a guy manning the second, uh, manning the weapons, we have a 22 and a half se second charge time. So when we're uncloaked time. The that is only seven and a half seconds before our glaive beam fires, so that's very important because there's very few weapons that can fire in less than seven and a half seconds. So we can fire our glaive beam on an enemy ship and kill them before they get to fire on us. So it's very important. Hoping for streamer luck and getting something amazing on first job. Yeah, we don't need that to happen, but it would be nice. Like a pre igniter, a free pre igniter would be pretty much the nuts on this one. Much like it is for a speed run, but at least we do have long range scanners. That means we can avoid like problematic jumps and things like that. Uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. Uh, good luck. Have fun. Go to die. Kill all the alive. Victory newbie. Yes. We're going to. Uh, did I ever do my beacon? My the disable hotkeys? I did. Okay, we're good. All right. We're, so we're gonna have the Zoltan in the engines. That's what we're gonna do. If you get a free pre igniter first jump, would you turn it into speed run? No. No, I definitely would not. So it's kind of a pain in the ass, because like we want scrap, but we're also like terrified of ship fights. But we still want to take ship fights. <laughs> it's just horrifying all around. Okay. They are hacking my engines. That is fine. So basically, before we get our cloaking up to level three, we need to cloak weapons of their weapon volley and we need to hope that they don't hit my weapons well we dodged the one that mattered so that's great even with the resist seven scrap and three fuel. Well, that is a pretty awful reward, to be honest, but all right. Yeah, we do not want to fight any drones at all. That is the absolute run killer for us. We can definitely die in sector one quite easily with this ship. Okay, we'll send an away party. Out of supplies, eager to tell you of another secret base. Beast. Another secret beast. Okay. All right, quest marker right off the bat. All right, well, I'm gonna take uh, uh, take this first. Please, no drones. Okay, intervene. It's a bad setup for us. We can do the Trixie shot. Not that it it doesn't matter. can do it. Can I wait for that to fire? Doesn't look like it. God damn it. I don't think I can pa unpause and pause again before it hits me. This still has like 11 seconds, still it fires, or 12 seconds, so we only have 10 seconds of cloak time. I want to wait because if this, or whatever, like we're gonna cloak. But this is gonna have a chance to hit my weapons. Hopefully it doesn't, but I mean obviously it could. Okay, it didn't it didn't target them, so we're fine. But that's still 
still would have been bad. 19 scrap, one missile and drone part, and then 18 scrap, two, two fuel off the, off that, on top of that as well, which is really great. Yeah, the fact that this ship only has a two-slot medbay is pretty much a nightmare as well. Wow, that's really good. Eight scrap, two fuel, and a drone part, and a rock named Ferry. Venting the piloting on this ship is really terrible, so I guess I'm going to put you in piloting. So, sure, sounds good. Okay. So there's some stores here. I don't have enough money to buy shields, obviously, and I want to get my cloaking up to level 3 anyway, like that's pretty important, so we're going to go ahead and not go to the stores, we're going to go to these other beacons. So, we throw the cloak on. Got demoted from pilot to dude stamp. So you can see here, like, very little time of uncloaked time. They don't need their... They won't... They might be able to fire this just because of the beam swipe time, but my weapon gets to start firing uh, before they even get a chance to fire their weapon, which is super duper good. 20 scrap, and examine the ship, and it's a store, and I don't have anything for you, so. Thrills near with a Twitch Prime sub six consecutive friggin' months. Oh my god. Can we get some Wasman hearts around here to welcome Thrills near? <laughs> Back to this Vega filled Wasman love. Thanks a bunch. Don't you dare leave any of that love lying around. Make sure you pick it up and take it with you. Appreciate it. I want to save my scrap to get level uh, to to be able to buy shields, uh, so that's the plan. Not even the heavy laser is gonna have time to fire on us. So. Very good. Scrap two fuel and a drone part. Alrighty. hold your breath we got a cloak yeah pretty much i'm just kind of letting the oxygen equalize here for a little bit between fights just to reduce the likelihood of us suffocating to death we're gonna hail this ship this is not great but it's still fine still the same plan as before we're gonna make sure that the end of this glaive beam is hitting their weapon system so we can disable their weapons before they have a chance to fire. The other thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna run my Zoltan into my cloaking and then immediately run him back into engines. This allows me to get my oxygen back online, especially for a longer fight. This is gonna be kind of important. Okay, good. We do get that missile offline, but they do have their 
weapon, their heavy laser, which sucks. Okay. As far as things go, like, that's definitely not too bad. And the Zoltan fucked up his power when he went to the room, so that's great for us. Door, mu door music, the new elevator music, yeah, for sure. Good. Thanks for the follow on the Twitterverse Funky Pillar, by the way. I appreciate it. 13 scrap, 2 fuel, and a drone part. Contact the refugees. Okay, 8 scrap, 2 fuel, and a drone part. Thank you, thank you. I could go to this store, but I mean, I don't really have anything to do there. I don't have any money. I'm just gonna take these other beacons. And then go to the exit. Okay. We don't have to do this cheeky swipe, but I'm just doing it for practice. Like, I need to be able to do this, like, consistently in as little amount of pause time as possible. So, like, it's good practice to, like, set that pixel up. You could really probably stand to reduce my sensitivity on my mouse. Shields cost 125 scrap. 15 scrap, one missile and a drone part. Good. Can you explain to a noob like me why you cloak instantly and such? Yep. So the glaive beam fires with uh, normally at 25 seconds. With a guy manning the system, he reduces that firing time by 10%, so the firing time is at 22 and a half seconds. Level 3 cloak lasts for 15 seconds. So this gives us 15 seconds of charge time on the glaive beam. So when we become uncloaked, we only have 7 and a half seconds before we fire that glaive beam. And there's almost nothing that fires in that short of a period of time. So we can one-shot the enemy ship that we're fighting or at the very least, completely disable their weapons before they even have a chance to fire. So hopefully that explains. Hopefully that makes sense, Agent. I could get a ship fight here. They only start charging when you uncloak. Enemy weapons, just like your weapons, do not charge while they're while the thing that they're trying to target is cloaked or whatever. There's no shield. The ship does never start with shields, Broncus. Neither the stealth A or B starts with shields. The stealth C starts with shields on the ship, but they're not actually active. So you have to, like, spend 80 scrap or whatever the hell it is. So we're not going to do this because if we get a ship fight in an asteroid field, we're basically dead. Not guaranteed dead, but we're pretty dead. I'm going to sell six drone parts because it gets me that much closer to getting my shields purchased. I'm going to go NG controlled here. I would like to go uh, abandoned because we can make a lot of scrap there, but NG controlled is probably going to be better for us. Okay. Aid the civilian ship for sure. Yep, this is definitely, like, the best strategy for the Stealth B. Okay, and then we're running our Zoltan into these shields, or into the cloaking to grab the, uh, power out of it and bring it back to engines with them, basically. 13 scrap, one fuel, one missile, contact the civilians. Nice, we got an NG. That's great news. All right. Two stores. I'm gonna go here, and then we'll go to the store, I think. And then if this store doesn't have what we want, then we'll go over to this store. We'll probably end up going that way anyway. I really, I really, I need 125 scraps, so like I just need to. I, I 
I'd be willing, more than happy to take some dead beacons just to get shields. Okay, we are one-shotting this, so that's fine. Scrap to fuel and a missile or a drum part. That we have exactly enough scrap. So that is great. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and take that jump there with a. Take that station where nobody's gonna bother you. Okay, thank God. Very good. <sighs> good, good. So now if we fight a ship that has drones, we're not 100% dead. So that's great. Okay, intruder on deck. Young Mantis in a charred uniform is teleported under the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the NG and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. Yeah, we'll side with him. Oh, that was a fucking trap. God damn it. Holy shit. Alright, hang on a second. Okay, because of this timing, I'm gonna have to, like, cloak... Uh... Oh, this is kind of fucking awkward. Oh yeah, I can put the human in shields here, right? Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take that shot. And then this shot's hitting something. It looks like it's actually going for my shields or my sensors, one of the two. Either way, I'm gonna take my shield power and put it into level 3 cloaking. We're gonna cloak. 75% evasion. We didn't dodge it. It doesn't really matter. But the point is, is like they can't continue to charge these. The, uh, the ship is, like, fucking bad for me, by the way. Like, we don't one-shot this ship at all. Which is very bad. And they have a nasty weapon set up. We might have to run away from this fight. It's very bad for us. And two shields. Jesus Christ. Um, at least we have shields for this fight, because it's going to reduce the damage we take by two every time these things fire, at least. I think getting one of their weapons offline is probably going to be paramount here. Then afterwards, if they don't have a value point shield, then maybe I can work on killing him or something. to run my Zoltan to shields if I want that to happen. Well, I think I, I might have time. I might have time. Not not for this, but for the more important thing is that, that I get it for the uh, heavy laser. Alright. At least one of them, anyway. It's like, we're not gonna dodge, but at least it reduced my damage by two that I take. It's like, ideally, we want to do this swipe, and then it kills them, hopefully. Okay. That's great, actually. I couldn't have put that power in engines because they're ionized. Okay. 
Fifteen. Fifteen percent evasion. That's great. Okay, good. So obviously, when fights go long with a ship, it's like an absolute fucking nightmare. So that was probably as good as that was gonna go. Thirteen scrap, two fuel, and a drone part. Nice. I still can't afford to get my shields and uh, or a power bar, unfortunately. But man, whatever. <sighs> God damn. This is such a huge investment to have to spend. It's like, okay, take the first 125 scrap you get and then just throw that away or in, on a basic system that you should have started with. You know, it's, uh, it's pretty rough, but we have, a, we have a lot of potential great beacons in this sector where we can get free stuff like that small bomb is amazing for this ship so we're really happy to see that i don't really want to take ship fights not really what's up Spanky? how you doing today taking ship fights is a little scary except they're off for surrender nice seven scrap one fuel one missile boarding drones great Especially boarding, like, ship fights are especially scary in an energy controlled sector. Moving into a new apartment tomorrow. Nice! Awesome! I hope it uh, works out great for you. I'm doing very well. Yeah, we're gonna be able to sell that boarding drone, get some repairs, maybe another bar of power. Dude, it could do that swipe, but... Oh, I guess like, yeah, we could do this swipe. Yeah, this swipe makes sense. Maybe I should have actually done a four damage swipe. It's like we could we could have we could have done a double room hit here. Like we could have done this is basically like versus the flagship, same room layout anyway. We could do this and get a double room hit. Like one, two, three, four, five. But no, we would no, I'd want to hit their weapons. So I guess we could do it have done it like this, maybe. I don't know if this works the same way, but anyway, no, that doesn't work the same way, I don't think. Anyway, it's fine. Speed ring, this must be a pain in the ass. Well, it's just RNG heavy, it's not too bad. I enjoy it, it's fun. I'm doing good though, Dennis. Hope you're having a fantastic one. Nice dodge, thank goodness. All right. <clears throat> oh, they're trying to run away. Yeah, fuck that. Nine scrap and we'll investigate the ship we just saved. Okay, so we could use the leverage and delay the fleet by, I believe, one jump. Or maybe we could do two. It was a rebel scout. Uh, I could destroy them and salvage it, though. That would probably be okay, too. I think I'm going to go ahead and leverage, though. Yeah, fleet delayed by one jump. So that's better than nothing. Like, like we're, 
we were gonna go to the store. I could take like an extra jump before going to the store now. Maybe get a little bit more scrap. And then maybe we are able to make a better purchase at the store. We're mostly gonna be there for uh repairs to be perfectly honest, but still. Hacking, which is great, but I don't have any uh, money. I will go for one bar of power and ten repairs. go for the non-ship detected fight or a beacon I guess hopefully we get just a blue option event or something all right we're just gonna secure the cash like I'm not really getting a whole lot out of getting two extra jumps because I only have one other jump before I'm going to the exit anyway so I'm just gonna secure it so get a little bit of resources I think I can work on getting my shields up uh, colonized moon. The Astro is abandoned. Detecting an abandoned space station near the beacon. Uh, scrap the machinery. We need scrap. Fine. Okay, we're gonna take the civilian over the rock. Definitely. I want to get this small bomb online too. This is going to be very important. We're gonna be fighting a lot of two shielded ships. Uh, it costs 50 scrap to get that online though. Maybe I should do that before shields. I don't know. I need to take these ship fights though, regardless. Yikes. Guaranteed double. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Okay, it's a beam drone, that's great. And it's especially one that doesn't deal damage, that's even better. So here's the plan. do our normal early cloak I could do one of two things I could do a glaive beam swipe here to disable their evasion then switch to the small bomb and disable their weapons that's pretty good um, I could also do a glaive beam swipe to disable some of their weapons only dealing one damage to each of the room that's okay but it's probably not going to disable the missile. Probably not. It might, it might not. I don't know. I think this is probably the better option. I don't know. This is okay. If they only have one level of piloting, then this is just going to be better. Eh, let's just do this. <clears throat> Got their missile offline. That's actually perfect. Um, I probably don't need to switch then. Why not small bomb weapons first? Because the glaive beam is guaranteed to hit no matter what. And that's probably just better value. And I, I think that that's just better value. Wow, that's fucking awful. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I might be able to put it out before it does damage to my weapons. That would be good. There we go. Nice job. Alright, cool. I should probably just do another swipe like this, to be honest. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be better. Okay, good. He wants to reduce evasion to that bomb connects, right? Because if it missed, then that would be a nightmare. NG value, huge NG value, sure. Nice, perfect. This bomb's gonna come back online soon. 
Probably. I'm assuming he's not going to put his laser online, but who knows. Uh-huh. I could go ahead and just cloak level 3 right now. I don't know if they have a value point shield or not. If they do, then, then firing at this is a mistake. So I guess I should just wait. I should just cloak. Guaranteed get their weapons down. And then just, just do the completely safe option. Which is this. This is the 100% safe option. Because otherwise it might start taking damage. And taking damage is obviously terrible. All it is is taking time. We're not in any hurry. 11 scrap, one fuel, one missile, or one drone part, rather, and three fuel, drone part, and 21 scrap. Very nice. I have enough scrap to either get my weapon online or get my weapon, or get my shields up. I think I'm going to opt for the weapon, because, like, these two shielded ships, I can make them just one swipe kills if I just have this uh, small bomb online, so I think we're going to go with that. We can take a couple of uh, jumps here. Maybe we get enough scrap to go to the store. Taking damage does not definitely does not build character. This could be a this is much more likely to be a drone fight. I think I might just take this ship fight actually. God, I fucking hate my sinuses right now. They're kicking my ass. All right, we are definitely not uh, gonna take their bribe. The ship, we do not one-shot the ship. I could do six damage this way, or I could deal uh, nine, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I do. Never mind. Yeah, I do. No, I don't. I do. I do eight damage. So I might as well just do this and then disable their weapons. It's gonna be the plan. wait until after the glade beam fires to fire the small bomb because that will guarantee its hit oh wow uh five fuel four missiles and a, an 11 scrap that's pretty great i do need the missiles but i'm gonna go ahead and not take it How you doing today? Alright. 25 scrap, and then hopefully we get a double here. Nice! 10 hull points repaired is great. Very good. Pirates know how to bargain for their lives, kind of. Yeah, they definitely were pretty good at it. Not amazing, though. All right, I could take these two jumps and go to the store. I kind of want to get a bar of power, another one. But I don't really need it. I think I'd rather just get my shields up to level two. So we're going to take these two, go to the store. If they don't have anything super amazing, then we'll just get my shields up or something. Tried to shut down my engines, eh? Okay.
I think I might want to take one point of damage rather than expend a bomb. Actually. three bombs and they're like pretty important and this means I can take a point of damage on my weapons and we're still okay you know so it's not the worst oh you're gonna kill your own dude fucking rip that guy I guess nice five fuel and 30 scrap this next one is a distress with a ship detected they didn't need that mantis anyway i guess not they have pretty expensive power wise going to sell it <laughs> that it would probably be a pretty big mistake uh they would have to have a complete weapon setup it doesn't sell for that much doesn't sell for enough you know they would have to have like a burst laser 2 and like a halberd beam or something like that i don't know and i'd have to be able to afford both of them <laughs> we've been trying to airlock that guy for years just keep sticking around hopefully this isn't a trap hopefully this is somebody that wants fuel but i'm not gonna send my scrap because we got a store coming up it is a trap. That's fine. Get another boarding ship. Kind of crazy. guys are dead. No. Mm -mm. Nope. No sorry, Bob. 20 scrap, 2 fuel, and a missile. Uh, good. So hacking could be something that we might purchase from the store because it guarantees us like kills against ships. Like it's definitely an important system for this one especially. Yeah, 8 missiles, but I want resource, I want scrap because I'm going into a store. If you'd keep the glaive till the flagship, what other ones would you go with? Well, a glaive beam plus a halberd beam kills the flagship in one shot. That does 20, uh, 25 points of damage to the flagship. So a glaive beam plus a halberd beam could be good. Ideally, we'd want a pre-igniter to go with that, or at least like a mastered guy in weapons and an auto-reloader or something that would do, do it too, but... Otherwise, something to take down shields would be good. Okay, they do have hacking. Okay, we're gonna purchase hacking here. Squeezing by here.
What's up, Sword Slinger? A stealth bee is an interesting one. It definitely, it's, it's like a really slow going ship right off the bat. But the glaive beam is pretty interesting. I'm not gonna sell drones, I just got hacking. We sold six drones earlier in the run. Uh, I definitely don't wanna go into an asteroid field. All right, we're gonna go store, even though I can't buy anything, and then go into the nebula and stuff. I don't really want to buy. Uh, no. Nah. Any missiles or drone parts? I don't think I'm just gonna try and get by on what I have. So I think I'm just gonna go here, here, and then to the exit is gonna be the plan. Hopefully we get just some random good beacons. That would be nice. Okay. 13 scrap and a halberd beam. Remember how I was saying how we have a one shot against the flagship with a halberd beam and a glaive beam? Well, that definitely qualifies. So we now have what we need. Verifiable Lux Saccharino. Nice, pump extra power into our sensors, 24 scrap, awesome. Get that bar of power, and I think I should probably get my hacking to level two as well. Let's do that. Speak of the devil, really, absolutely. Four fuel for a drone part. That is not good enough. If it was four fuel for like four drone parts, I'd do that. So that's just a ton. Okay. I can't imagine diving here is worth it. It's just too scary. Definitely like to take an NG controlled. That sounds good to me. We're not set up well enough defensively. Like if I had level four engines and level two shields or something like that, then we'd do it, but I don't have those, so. Okay, distress with the ship detected and then a ship afterwards. We'll probably just do that. All right. Okay, they give me the sector layout, which I guess is fine. We have a lot of blue options with our crew. I'm not going to bother fighting this ship. We already have the whole sector laid out for us, so that's fine. Haha! -ha, I am the Dread Pirate Tuco! Prepare to die! Oh, alright. Nice basic laser and mini beam combo you have there, Mr. Tugo. Yeah, there is. Yeah, he's really, uh, he's really something. Oh, it's something, all right. dead. 23 scrap, one fuel, one drone part. Nice. Good, good. Okay. The only thing I really want here is the place of this small bomb is like, like technically, like I can only, if I use the glade beam with the halberd beam, I really can only have one power remaining in the weapon setup, but I don't have to use this halberd for like 99% of the run, just the flagship. So I could just use like something to take down shields and the glaive, or I could even switch out this halberd beam for other things. So, or I could even like use the halberd over the glaive beam, although it's not going to be one-shotting ships generally. So, 
don't know if we're going to do that. Kind of want to take these non-ship detected beacons. See, I've got like six jumps. Maybe. If I'm lucky, uh... I think I might have seven here. Maybe. Yeah, should have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could try and hit up this distress, all these distresses. I could go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exit. I could dive on this sector. Yeah, so let's go over the distresses in that other store over there. Oh, nice, that's very good. You have unlimited jumps if you can dodge the ABS. Yes, yeah, the ASB. Okay, that's really good. We'll be able to sell that. Um, I could get another bar of power, which would be kind of nice. Not absolutely 100% necessary, though. I could save to get my shields to level 2, which might be a little bit better. Two heavy lasers. Forward scout as well. Alright. I'm gonna wait and see what they hack. And they're boarding me too. Okay, doors is perfect. Or or it's hacking. Okay, doors, that's fine. Look at those freaking ready to fire. They were green. Green means go. Throw 25 scrap, three fuel, and a drone parts. Fantastic. Hopefully we get a blue option. Like I said, we have a lot. This is not one of them, but I will do it anyway. Okay. Try your best, but one of the stray rocks hits a key structure in their ship. It breaks apart in front of your eyes. Wee! Free stuff. Thanks. Alright. One, two, three, four, exit. I think that's the plan. You make it look so easy. Well, I've done it. I've done it a lot. Those time. It's really good to have that timing. Even if they did fire at us, manage to fire those uh, heavy lasers, it's not so bad. Okay. Mind control, drone control, and a backup battery. Burst laser one, ion blast, and another small bomb. Okay, I don't 
don't need this beam too. <sighs> I could get mind control, but... Yeah, it is like another bar of power. Uh, but I would be much better off just investing in my ship, I think. I might buy the backup battery. It's not like insanely, it's pretty, it's it's just like, it gives us two bars of power for less than 50 scrap, which is just like good enough for me. And it's like, I've only need, I, there's lots of things that I only need temporary power for on this ship anyway. And like, it, it works pretty perfect for cloaking, so. In this position anyway. Ninety percent of the fights were just cloaking immediately. It's just less micro that I have to do. Okay, we're gonna take these three and then go in the exit. We might take this and then dive afterwards. Okay, we can scan the wreckage here. Very nice. You have jumped to the aftermath of what seems to have been a brutal exchange between several ships. Wreckage drifts by your screens, and you can still see the remains of dying ships sparking and breaking apart. It's weird how, like, long-range scanners never works. There doesn't work on this event. Only level 2 or more sensors does, but it's nice. 15 scrap, 3 fuel, and... Or 3 missiles and a drone part. That Those 3 missiles and a drone part are super great for us. Really happy about that. Okay, I'm not sure exactly how we can carefully cut anything out with a glaive beam, but you know, maybe our uh, our uh, guy's a surgeon with this thing. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt, and the uh, pirate crushed between some rocks. Cut them out. It's 31 scrap, one fuel, and a drone part. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll go get a bar of engines. Could get a bar of power too. You also have the halberd. That's true. That's true. I could get a fourth bar of engines. Boy, that sounds pretty tempting. I'm gonna get a bar of power though. Instead. Seventeen scrap and a fire bomb. Okay. All right. So I could take this beacon and then and then jump back and dive on the exit. That sounds pretty good. Twice as accurate with the two beams. Oh, okay. What's my next sector? Rock or Rebel Stronghold? Ooh, a Rebel Stronghold? Oh, my. That's pretty exciting, actually. I would love to fight a mini flagship with this. With this battle boat. We have a lot of hull. We have level 3 cloaking. I don't need to fire on the enemy ship. I can just hack their weapons. Let's do it. Let's dive. Let's get some extra scrap. Okay. Wait, is a mini flagship possible? Yep, it is a it's the special event for the Rebel Stronghold. 
It's an event where you get a guaranteed free weapon, uh, a high amount of scrap, and five of each resource. And it delays the Rebel Fleet by two jumps. I hacked the wrong system. What am I doing? Whoops. Obviously that was a mistake. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. It's fine, though, I guess. The ship can't deal me damage. So, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I hacked their engines on accident. This would be a good ship to actually train our evasion, to be honest. Just sit here for an hour while it fires at us and we get mastery in piloting engines, but 31 scrap, one fuel, one drone part. Really happy with that. And I'm going to go ahead and bump up my engines to level 4 as well. We're not going to be using our weapons during the uh, dive here. So, let's go. I could buy another bar of power. I don't really need it right now, but I will in the future, I guess. So, I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. That's fine. All right, let's go. Good luck, have fun, to good or die, kill all ally victory, and no BS. Okay, they're not gonna board me, which is kind of nice, I guess. I am gonna hack their weapons. To try and make sure that we don't get, like, screwed by this missile or something. Hopefully we don't get hit. 10% chance that we do by the ASB. Oh shit, is it gonna not fire? Oh wow, that sucks. Well, I cloaked too early. Well, color me surprised. Ideally we get out of here before that gets a chance to hit us, which we do, so. Oh well. Pretty happy to get a Rumble Stronghold here though. We definitely have the potential to make a lot of money in this sector. Sorry, we took three damage for the dive. That's not bad at all. Uh, the beacon that we will be looking for, because we have long-range scanners, is going to be a beacon with no ship detected. No distress, no nothing. I'm gonna jump to this distress first, though. Oh, you got married! Oh, congratulations! Not legally, because his uh, SSDI would stop. Oh, fair enough, but... Uh, congratulations, Miko. That's great news. I suppose you were probably gone then when I got engaged. Me and Kuro got engaged a couple of years ago. And I came out as bi in that time as well. And uh, yeah, we got a house. So, pretty cool. Find the source of the distress call, a small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. Send in the rock crew. Your rock soldier tears through the airlock directly into the fire. You've never seen someone that large move that fast. It disperses as much fire suppressant as possible into the heart of the blaze and eventually the fires start to die down. Oh, thanks, Sunsor. Guy gave me the balls to propose. Oh, that's so sweet. Super great. 
Contact the survivors. We get a guaranteed augment. And stealth weapons is um, amazing. Well, it's okay. Stealth weapons, what it does is it makes it so when you fire a weapon that is uh, the, while you're cloaked, it doesn't reduce your weapon time. But beams already don't do that. So it's not that great, but it's still good. Um, you're just big bone, uh-huh. Yeah, Kuro proposed, proposed to me. It was super sweet. He got, here, let me show you. I built, I built a box to, he gave me, um, when he proposed, he gave me a, a blue feather, which if you're, uh, if you're like a super huge fan of, uh, Harvest Moon like I am, uh, Harvest, uh, the, uh, blue feather is like a, yeah, it's like an engagement thing. Yeah, super sweet. He's super awesome. I'm so lucky. And I had that hanging up right there behind the camera. Yeah, I don't know. I would have never been able to think of something like that. But it was super great. Top-notch proposal. Yeah, it was super great. He also uh, he also made an FTL mod <laughs> to do it as well. And it was like this little kind of thing that he did where it was like he modded in like all this. It, it was like a, a bunch of dialogue into the game as well. Super friggin' sweet. Uh, okay. for years and I'd never heard that story. Congrats, dude. Sounds amazing. Thank you, Ramses. Yeah, I'm super fortunate. I should have hacked earlier, but <clears throat> I think we'll be okay. Escape. Nope. Five fuel is good, but thirty seven scrap, one fuel and a drone part, okay. So I'm gonna have the Rockman switch out here, then have the NG go here, have the Rockman boom pop, pop right into his place. I'll have this Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Hang on this human do the same thing. <laughs> I literally said, hey, dork, marry me? And I was so nervous. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's super sweet, though. Hmm. 
this is like one of the worst events of the game. Hopefully the mini flagship's here. Send him to the Great Space Gulag. Oh man. Check the air filter in the house. Sinuses are driving me fucking crazy. <sighs> I'm thinking about whether or not I want to spend any scrap, like getting my uh, power up at this point. If I fight the mini flagship in this sector, it will only have three shields, I'm quite certain, anyway. So, we should be okay there. And I could've used this firebomb, but I'm not really that interested in getting crew kills with this ship. This is not that important to me. Okay, rebel scout ship pursuing civilians. This is a ship that I do not want to use my Glaive Beam against because they get to cloak two times. Before I get to actually fire my Glaive Beam, which is just horrible. <laughs> so. If I had a, if I had a uh, pre-igniter, I could kill them here, but. This fire is at 17, 16, and this is either 9 or 10 seconds, but... Yeah, I can't get, like, a multi-room. Can, can we do this? Is that... That's just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's, is that 5? Does that count? Is that good? No. Or is it? We're gonna see if this is a five room hit. I'm not sure if it is or not. So I think this room is gonna get hit twice. I know that I can get four, but I think that this is going to be a five room. We're going to just test it. I think we should be right okay here. I could do it so it's right to left, too. Right, right to left is probably smarter. Uh, should I have cloaked? Uh, I don't know if I actually want to cloak this missile. Cause like they're gonna be able to fire at me. I really want to cloak this, cause this fires into this. Like this 16, 17 is could deal me tremendous damage. Have you done the no shields run this file yet? I would have no intent of ever doing a no shields run ever again. <laughs> no. All right, we're just gonna take this. It's gonna hit me the piloting. I don't care. No shields run? Why do that? Is a challenge.
I don't know. I know it, I know it works on the... Uh, I don't know why it doesn't work. I should, I should probably fire like this. It's really better. I get to cloak this one anyway. <sighs> All right. 22 scrap, one fuel, two missiles, contact with civvies, five hull points repaired. Awesome. Sounds great. I'm going to heal you up real quick. By real quick, I mean, move it, Leo Kai. Why don't you run? Like, remember when you put out those fires? When you ran so fast and you exploded the fire extinguisher, whatever? Like, whatever, man. Mini flagship, please. Ah, 17 scrap and a small bomb. Still good. Mini flagship, please. Damn it. <clears throat> a good old Gumpo. Hey, uh, you guys want a guy named Gumpo on the ship? Uh, we're looking at the one, they, they want to know if we want a guy named Gumpo. I'm actually going to take this Rockman. That's pretty cheap. He's trained in shields, so that's cool. Your real name is Gumpo? Uh, well, let me, let me, let me, let me spell this out for you. I wouldn't take you on my ship. Gumpo L Nub Nub. <laughs> well, the Nub Nub might make up for it. One, two, three, four, five. Six. So I'm gonna take this distress. Okay, I'll lead you to your destination. Sure. Man, I am looking for this mini flagship, and I cannot find it. Okay, we'll intervene and defend this outpost. Sure. Not a great layout for a ship. Gumpo, more like Chumpo, am I right? Oh my god. <laughs> Got him. Oh no, it is a good layout for us. Never mind. I thought it was a different layout. Scrap, three fuel, and a drone part, and nice. 34 scrap, four fuel on top of that. Beautiful. Nice. Hopefully, the mini flagship is either here or here, because those are the only places that uh, that I'm going to be able to try and spot it at. We'll go to the store first, though. Why is there an outpost in the Rebel Stronghold? Fuck if I know. Maybe the real estate was cheap. I don't really need stealth weapons. I'll probably sell those. I could buy mind control here. That would be fine. Because an in post would be silly. <laughs> uh. Take the mind control. Some fuel. 
first ion field might be okay. But... I'm gonna keep stealth weapons. I don't need the scrap. Like, I don't have any plans of getting my shields up to level 3 right now, I don't think. <laughs> it's Phantom in this space. Here it's good uh, this time of year. What, space? <laughs> Here space is good this time of year? Let's go to the quest, and then we'll go here. Hopefully that's the... We don't, We haven't... We, there could be a ship detected there. We don't have any idea. The only beacons that we didn't see... We didn't see this one. We didn't see either of those, I don't think. But everything else... We went to every other beacon that it could have possibly been. So, hopefully that's it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want from the store. But I really want an auto-reloader. That's what I really want. That's what I need in my life. Or a pre-igniter, that'd be fine too. This wave beam, fucking fire a little bit faster. Nice, 49 scrap fuel and a drone part. Okay, come out. Come out, mini flagship. Come out! Oh, come on, man. Outrageous. It was on one of the three beacons that we didn't get to see. That sucks. I don't really need that much fuel. I got Zoltan Homeworld, so if we find the Peace Envoy, that would be legit. I could have maybe bought six fuel there. I thought we were actually in Sector 6. I forgot we're in Sector 5. A trailer and a sign? Are you kidding me? Becky is so well known in the universe. She's got billboards. Becky is, n oh my God, best Becky is not a prostitute. How dare you? How dare you? Like, oh my god. That is ridiculous. Becky is a patriot. Looking for a beacon like this with no ship detected for the peace envoy. Striker with the two consecutive months! Finally got my account back. Hooray! Oh Thank you so very much, Striker, for the two months. What's up, Vizic? How you doing today? Can we get some Waspin hearts around here to welcome Striker back to this vehicle filled with Waspin love? Thanks a bunch, bud. Don't leave it lying around. Pick it up. Take it with you. Are you the peace envoy? Are you the peace envoy? Are you the... Let's check out the moon. Alright. Attempt to detonate some explosives to break through the surface. Oh, god damn it. Come on, man! Alright, I'm not gonna do anything here. Completely normal sized. Stop staring at them. What are you doing? Don't take pictures. God damn it. Hands. Get my hacking level three just in case something real wacky happens. 
We'll participate in their study here. Oh my god, it was a trap all along. What's up, Arcadis? How you doing today? Ah, fuck, I don't know if I can throw here. Alright. Fuck it, we do the mind control. comment on that it clearly uh can't be your hand the thumb is on the wrong side <laughs> yeah that's true that is very true i couldn't cloak but we got a little bit of evasion training so i guess that's something 32 scrap two missiles a drone part all right nice combat drone 24 scrap three fuel and a drone part two All I wanted was a peace envoy. It could be there, but there's also a distress in an asteroid field here, which would means that I can't get this achievement, which I don't really, I don't really care about. Uh... No, I'm pretty sure she actually slept with million rebels at least 900,000 rebels I'm doing it fuck it I don't care about that achievement damn it dude we didn't even freaking get the ah. stupid Ridiculous. AF, man. 24 scrap, one missile and drum part. You don't ever really get a good reward on that one, but whatever, I just did it anyway. <laughs> Need some high mileage oil. <laughs> that's up that's up to Becky. Take an eye on Pulse too. That sucks. It's very bad. 
This actually could be a serious problem if our weapons get ionized here. Uh, that's fine. Top off your health real quick before you go piling back in there. Okay. I don't think so. I don't think so. How did Rebels manage to build such a monstrous ship and the Federation can't? Theoretically, Federation has been around longer with uh, better infrastructure than the Rebels. I mean, there's not really ever a reason to build a gigantic flagship. Oh, I don't know. Also, side notes, like, probably because it's a really bad idea and it could be easily defeated by one small ship. It's probably another thing. Maybe they have, uh, like, pacts with other people, like, other alien races to not build gigantic super weapons capable of, uh, wiping out other civilizations, you know? Uh, any of those reasons, I would probably accept a very good reward. Sounds like it's coming from experience. I've just watched a lot of Star Trek. <laughs> hmm. Next time, use eight shields instead of four weapons. Yeah. Galactic Genocide is a good motivator for super weapons, yep. Uh, let's see. One million rebels, assuming three minutes per rebel. Okay. Maybe probably generous for the rebels, but okay. Uh, 50,000 hours of sleeping with rebels, or 2,083 days, or 297.6 weeks, or 5.7 years. Yeah. So, very doable for Becky. I mean, it's, you know. Seems fine. Halcyon 6. Yes, we definitely have played Halcyon 6. Advanced Rebel Automated Ship remains stationed near a small Rebel Space Station. Okay, we're just going to attack them. I could use... I could cloak past, but... This isn't this that's not super dangerous. I actually don't even really need to cloak it. I, I'll only cloak like when I have to. Rebels don't take long, yeah. Hoping that we would have gotten a dodge there. I really want some dodge training, but. So the glaive beam isn't going to. Uh, we're not going to be able to fire the glaive beam before they. Uh, uh, until after they cloak again, so. We do need to dodge some shots here. But their timing is going to be less shitty for me. 
Like, they're gonna cloak right about now. Yeah, let's see. And I really wish that I could get some fucking evasion. Some evades. Like, all right. Whatever. Seven scrap, investigate the station. 23 scrap and a stun bomb. All right. Yeah, Hellsin 6 was fun. I didn't, I didn't actually, like, finish it, but a lot of times with RPGs like that, with, for me, it's like, I just don't have the, for whatever reason, I just am never motivated to completely finish them. It's not because the game was bad, it's just, it's not, it's not them, it's me, kind of a thing. So I can take both of these, and then hit up all these, and then go to the exit. F1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, sounds good, we'll take the nebulas and head on over. I guess I'll just go ahead and get this upgraded. Yeah, that's still like, that's true as well. Yeah, what Rhino said. Why did the Emperor build the Ale Star? That would really have helped him dominate the galaxy. His two for weapons are just a boondoggle to get people working. Yeah. But like Rhino said, it's kind of like a, it's kind of a, a beacon of hope for the Empire, uh, or in this case, the Rebels. Hey, we found the peace on boy. An unarmed Zoltan transport vessel is slowly making its way towards the beacon here. They hail. Like, hey, this is a Zoltan peace envoy. We carry no weapons or shielding and rely on the mercy of others to communicate our message, man. All right. Like, we take your silence for interested contemplation. They talked at length about peace and harmony, but either it's beyond your simple mind or it's all nine cents. Like, please spread the word of enlightenment to those who have not heard. Once you have, contact our brethren. Like, thanks, man. All right. Next sector. Wamboozled. You gonna play the Resident Evil one-shot demo when it drops tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I'd like to. I should probably play it on stream. I plan on speedrunning that that game. If it even... It looks so amazing. And if it's even half as good as I expect it to be, then I'll probably give it about half, half the respect that it deserves, or whatever whatever the fuck that ridiculous line goes in the Lord of the Rings. The, just the peace on boy, Leo Kai. Resident Evil 2, the Resident Evil 2 remake. know half of you half as well as I should like and I like less than half of you half as well as you deserve yeah that thing Oh, this ship is going to take two glade beam swipes.
Too many games to play in this life. Not enough time, yeah. They're not absurdly long, the Resident Evil games. So if you wanted to, I'm sure you could make it happen. What's up, Chow? How you doing today? Thank you for deciding to leave my ship. I greatly appreciate it. I'm wondering how I should go about this. I could uh, just go for the crew kill. Could probably get it. So I could just do like nine damage to their ship right now. That's probably good. We get a little bit of training going. Mind control this guy. Switch this out. God, we actually got an evasion? I can't fucking believe it. Are you actually boarding me? With one dude? Okay. Fucking whatever. Mm -hmm. Seems like a bad idea to me. Oh, yes. Evasions, please. Oh, you don't care about this? You don't care about what's going on down here? Alright. Fuck it. Whatever, I don't care. Oh, Kernan. <laughs> Just want to get some weapons training. Kind of forgot. Nice. Getting a piloting and engines. 22 scrap and a burst laser mark. Two. Oh my god. That's amazing. use the burst too with the halberd beam for a little while I guess get me some training in my weapons that sounds like a good idea to me be able to get at least one level of mastery which will save me a lot of time on the glaive beam when I go to actually use it ideally we get a either a pre-igniter or a auto reloader and then we'll be in pretty good shape huh you've come to a quiet part of Zoltan space uh, this is a really this is a double high value reward event it's really good uh, and encounter an ancient Zoltan wise man who has managed to harness the power of a spatial rift but seems to have been driven completely mad by the power. Choose your doom, he demands. This is all a part of a day's work. Um, yeah, Mantis or Slug here. Uh, probably gonna go with the Mantis, though. 
You'd like a challenge, so be it! A wormhole forms and is confused. A wormhole forms and a confused, angry mantis ship hurtles towards you. Right. Well, he's frickin' mantis man. Confused wormholes, extremely confused. get some evasions. You know, whatever. No? Fuck that, I guess. the evasion training, please. I don't care if he repairs his med bay. It doesn't matter to me. I'll still get the crew kill without even having to use another bomb. Or any weapons firing at all. I just want him to keep firing on me and then we're gonna let him just die. Sorry, bud. You're not gonna have a good time, though. Get a little bit of evasion training here. Which works for me. Okay, another eight and we'll be good to go. You're not running to your med bay? Come on, man, you can survive! Nice dodges, very good. 48 scrap, two missiles, and a drum part, and then we contact the wise man. Wow, 50 scrap on top of it. That's crazy, 98 scrap. When, you, when he sees you have emerged victorious, the Zoltan wise man enters a rage. Rifts threaten to tear space apart until instead the Zoltan implodes, sending a blast wave of scrap and salvage dragged here from distant worlds in your direction. Nice. Do, 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 do. Found a flak. Got, I got it. I got, I got the thing. I got it. Got, got the, got the flak. Uh, see, found it. It's good. Streamer hacks engage. Do you have a table saw? I do. Yeah, I got it. Uh, I got, I have a, a very old table saw. It was among the things that I got uh, ways back uh, for like uh, for like a hundred bucks. Got that table saw and uh, and a joiner that I can't I can't seem to figure out how to fix it. I can't get it to to be to be like coplanar or whatever. Got a, a radial arm saw with the motors burnt out on and. Uh, a grinder, table grinder. Made a sled for it? Yep. I made a couple of sleds. Well, I tried and failed to make a sled for a normal one sled, and then I made another sled that was much more successful, and I've made a couple of, uh, of, uh, <clears throat> miter joint, uh, miter sleds as well. Well, you don't, yeah, this is how all of my runs go, obviously. So, yeah, I don't know, that's weird. You should probably, 
probably try to get more free stuff on your runs. <laughs> I'm not excited about either of these beacons. I want to make one, but I got to extend the grooves on my table. Otherwise, my sled won't go very far. Extend the grooves on your table. Do you mean your miter slots? Rock Homeworlds is pretty terrible. Let's yeah, let's go slug, I guess. Miter slots on your workbench. Oh, your workbench is kind of like your outfeed table. Uh yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't want to move your table, then yeah. Because you don't need an outfeed table for, like, uh, for, like, obviously when you're using the sled. So, yeah, I hear what you're saying, though. We're going to want my oxygen to level 2. I think I'm just going to jump to the store first. Uh, or am I? This quest is the Zoltan Peace Envoy. We definitely want that. Cut a corner out of my work table and put my saw there. I got those, uh, uh, one of those contractor table saws. Oh, okay, cool. How does that work for you? Does it work pretty well? Uh, for a long time, I thought I was going to get one of those. Actually, no. You know what? Yeah, let's go to the store first for sure. Yeah, for sure. So I'm going to want to go around this way. This, this side of the sector kind of sucks. Uh, I, for a long time, I thought I was going to get one of those, and then I got, uh, um, like, what used to be called a contractor saw. The one with, like, it's got the motor hanging out the back end of it and stuff like that. But now now th those aren't really called contractor saws any anymore, I don't think. It sits loosely, though, so i got to figure a way to secure it so it seats in the same spot every time to line up the miter slots. Yeah, definitely. Emergency respirators, reconstruct teleport, explosive replicator. This guy's mastered an engine, it's kind of tempting. But. Alright. Buy all this fuel. Oh, yeah, I have like a million fucking things. Well. I guess I'm going to use Flak Burst Halberd Beam for right now, but against the flagship, I'll use the Glaive Halberd just because it one-shots it. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just do that for the third form. Or second and third form. We'll work on a crew kill for the first. I don't fucking know. Like, the Flak Burst Halberd's pretty great. Kind of weird holding on to so many weapons. Kind of wish I put it closer to the center because when I rip large plywood chunks, sometimes they fall off at the end of the cut, but it's worked out for me so far. Cool. Yeah, send it, put a picture in the crafting thing. I'd be curious to see what it looks like. I have so many projects for next, uh, for, well, not for next year, but for when it starts to warm up more. Like, it's insane. Oh, God. Like, I really want to make a nice workbench for out in, uh, I don't know if you watch Third Coast Craftsman. He has a really sweet workbench with a lot of different, uh, uh, like, fastening styles on it and stuff like that. I wouldn't build one exactly like his, but... Uh, an another nice workbench, kind of like the one that I have uh, in the stream room, but one that's a little bit uh, beefier on the top side. And I probably want to have some, like, holes in the top for for being able to secure boards with either those, uh, I can't remember what the heck, those those metal, like, kind of hook things that you put in through the top. Or, and then also for... Uh, 
for with between the vice and uh, stuff, but I've seen a few of his videos, sure. The dogs. Between the vice and some dogs, some dog holes or whatever. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna hold on to the small bomb and stuff. Uh, okay, we're gonna attack them. Two burst laser threes. Wow, what a legend. I kind of want to hack his weapons and then just like shoot out his oxygen. Kind of what I want to do. I don't know, I think I'd rather save the hack drone though. I'm gonna try and evade some of these shots. Alright, we're just gonna cloak now. Woo! Still getting hit there. Gotta find a picture. My SD card's messing up my phone, so I took it out and it has all the pictures. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, well, we had 94% evasion there at the end. I kind of want to let this fire on me again, though. But we might take damage. But I think it's fine. Nice dodges. Good, good, good. I had faith. Nope. Could cloak this. But again, looking for those evasions. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Amazing. And we're trying to train our weapons too. 54 scrap, 2 fuel, and a drone part. It's covered in stuff at the moment, otherwise I'd take another picture now. Sure. Yeah, that's fair. One of the first things that I need to do is build some storage shelves for the garage because we've just got all this shit that's just like all over the place. Because, like, the paint will get kind of fucked up in the winter, I brought in all of that stuff. But I could store it out there in the summer. Uh, that All that stuff, like all paints and fin other finishes are fine to get frozen or whatever in the cold. But there's all kinds of stuff that's just, like, on the floor that I don't want on the floor, you know? Like yard work crap and what have you. So that's going to be one of the first things. And I have a lot of shelves to build. And I might be doing some built-in shelves for Kuro's room. I don't know if that's going to be, like, right after that. But I have, like, a lot of shelving to work on. Was there love laying all over the floor? No, fortunately, no love laying around on the floor. Picked the wrong ship to attack. I mean, you say that, but I mean, they haven't even really. Got a kind of an annoying ship over there, to be honest. not. Okay. Yeah, I got the weapons offline, that's nice. Oh, their cloaking's off. I could fire at them. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I'm good, thanks. 
38 scrap, 3 fuel on a drone part. Alright. Keep taking ship fights. I've got to make sure that I get to that peace envoy, but it's not going to be too bad. Nice. So this is the whole reason that we make sure we get our oxygen to level 2 here. We want level 2 oxygen versus the flagship anyway. But we'll do this. Uh, uh, this way we can not have to use hacking to counteract that stuff if it's like a particularly nasty ship. This ship isn't bad, but I think we want to focus that thing. All right, they're having a bad time. That's great for me. Wow. You dead slug scum. Get out of here, you garbage. 50 scrap, one fuel, and two missiles. Good. Good. Okay. I mean, you're worth cheating. He has nine weapon power. I'll let them, I don't want my med bay to be off. swipe like this. I really want to hit their weapons as best I can. Okay. Good here. Copper beam can fire. That doesn't matter. I don't know why the hell I have my power in there. Okay, those guys are all dead. Send you back. Yeah, I'm having an absolutely fantastic Thursday evening. Post a picture of my workbench in the Discord crafting channel. Thanks, Magrath. I appreciate it. 65 scrap, 2 fuel, and a missile. I'm still really happy with my workbench. I've been just basically, you know, it's always just here, like right next to me. So I look at it like all the time, and I like look at it, and I'm like, yeah, like I'm happy with how that came out. Like, the, I wish that I would have been able to do a better job with the mortis and tenons. Like, they're not like super clean, but they're like the first time that I did them. So, I mean, it's fine. It's, they're strong, it's just that they don't look super duper great. But, uh, I'm happy with how everything came out, and I think it looks fantastic, and it's nice to work on. And uh, I'll be happy to do something even better next time. Gives it making love to to it eyes, yeah. But I would be I would be like if if I wasn't happy with it, I'd be like I'd look at it and I'd just be like fuck and yeah, I did such a shit job. But you know, I'm always like yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with how that came out. So this is a big project, especially like uh, dimensioning, like, you know, first time dimensioning lumber a lot and like first time joining boards like that, especially that big. I still have a huge problem like joining boards. It's such a huge pain in the ass being able to dimension with hand tools. It's very difficult when you're just new at it. 
anyway. Uh, nah, I'm just gonna attack you. I hate fighting all these stupid ships with cloaking. I'm very happy that I'm not using the glaive beam right now because it would just be so slow. Painfully slow. Got some wood ordered from my dining room table. A bunch of 2x4s and 2x6s of Douglas fir. Cool. Oh, I'm surprised he repaired that cloaking so rapidly. That's kind of crazy. Alright, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Nope, fuck that. You're out of here, pirate scum. Two, two scrap, three fuel, and a drum part. Nice. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to get back into the into the workshop and start doing some more woodworking stuff. It's really fun. I find it very satisfying. Especially with how like I don't know, there were there were like a couple of times when it's like I've got I've like come back from wherever with uh with wood and it's just like I get it and it's just like this is like so shitty looking. I'm like really not like how the hell am I gonna work with this? You know, <laughs> and I'm like I just I have no idea how this is gonna work. And then when I'm done, it like looks uh, to me like great or it, like looks a lot better than what it did. So I'm like okay, like I can do this. It's not so bad. Any more workshop streams? I do want to get at least one of those planes ready, and I'd really like to get that. Uh, that uh, number six plane good to go to at the very least like because it's flat I just at least want to get the get the um, the the plan the blade like nice and nice and sharp I, I, I can do that on stream it's kind of hard to film like blade sharpening but I should probably just try and do it anyway I'm looking over there at like stuff that I really want to get done but yeah, so like I have that like number four plane that I want to fix up and I'd like to like re-sand the uh, handles and then refinish it with shellac. Those are those are things that I want to do with them. And then like they have some rust on them to clean up as well. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we could do that tomorrow. Well, I don't know if I want to do that tomorrow. I got a lot of crap that I want to do tomorrow after the stream and stuff. If I'm gonna make, I'm thinking about making jambalaya tomorrow. One drone part for nine fuel. I mean, I'm in the last sector. I don't need that fuel, so screw that. I could make this uh, this quest the last thing that I go to, which means I could hit like all these first. I'm like kind of feeling impatient. I want to just go to it right now, but it's not really any reason for me to. Jambalaya or just making it in general. I've already done a Jambalaya stream. I've done a couple, two or three, no, two, two Jambalaya streams, but I mean, if I do a jumble, if I do a cooking stream, then I'm not going to do a normal stream because it takes me about an hour to break, break down and set up like the cooking stream setup. So. I don't know. All right. Oh, these guys are both mastered weapons. I don't want to take a, a weapon mastered person a little bit. How close are you to mastering? You're pretty far away, to be honest. 
I don't know if we'll get that. Keep the stealth weapons. There you go, beard. Billy one buying crew Kirby, yep. Pretty much. That could... No, that can't be a store. Okay, we've already seen it. Let's uh, buy a couple more bars of power. Uh, and weapons. Alright. Let's go. <laughs> what kind of name is that for a vicious creature? I don't know. Please, your worthy alien highness. We are unarmed and seeking asylum. You approach cautiously, and weapons immediately spring for their hull. Oh my god. Slugs being not trustworthy. What? These guys have got some serious fucking evasion going on here. I'm not accepting surrender? What are you, crazy? Fuck out of here. Oh, you actually... Oh, wow, I can't believe it. I didn't think that uh, you were going to be able to cloak... Oh, you're jumping away. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is going to get to you in time. Nope. No, they're not doubling the fleet against me or anything, so I guess it's not that big of a hurry. I didn't even realize they were jumping away. I'm sure it told me, like, quite plainly, but I just wasn't paying attention. Look, this ship appears not to be owned by these squishy ones. Maybe they won't smell so bad when we cut them open. What? What the hell are you talking about, man? They smell way worse. God, fucking help me with this guy. No, just fucking come on, man. Dude, I could get such a crew kill on you. But I won't. 44 scrap, two missiles and a drone part. Okie dokie. Crushing him. I'm still looking for this coffee and it's not been there for quite some time. Hopefully that peace envoy gives me some Zoltan shields. Not that big of a deal if they don't, but 
I mean, at the very least, we'll get the Peace Envoy himself. All right, so hail them. Perhaps there could be a reconciliation of our ideals without war. True progress, blah, 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 bloodshed. Ah, 69 scrap, two field, two missiles. Okay, fine, whatever, I guess. I guess. Do you have anybody that's mastered in engines? Anybody else? I mean, no? Okay. Philakov. You are the peace envoy. Yeah, it's too bad. Really not getting lucky with those Peace Envoy quests. I mean, it's a good event regardless, because we still get resources and, like, a really great crewman. So it's totally fine. Anything else we want to do here? Get an absurd level of engines. The dive, why not? Curious if they changed the chance to get shields. Thought it was 50 50, but I almost always get Envoy. Yeah, uh, it's 50 50 as far as I know, still. Yeah. I don't know. I've gone like eight runs in a row with getting the Envoy, and I've also gone many runs in a row with getting the shield. So. Go. And at least nine weapon power. You, sir, are a stupid, cheaty face. Man, I'm just gonna jump away. I'm gonna do it. I just kind of wanted to blow you up a little bit. I like a little bit though. All right, there we go. Yeah, take that, jerk face. I'm, I want this fuel at this point. I want it. Right, you boarded the wrong fucking boardroom, sir. Yeah, you're dead. Give me that fuel. Give me fuel, give me fire. Give me that which I desire. But yeah, it's like a multi-part quest, and you always kind of, like, remember what happens when you got the event for the Envoy. And, and I don't know, like, the, the times that you don't get it are always, at least I feel, like, more memorable than the times you get the Zoltan Shield. Because, like, the rest, once you get Zoltan Shield, the rest of the run's, like, very nice. And then if you, if you, have, if you got the Zoltan Peace Envoy, then you're like, man, it would have been so much better. Yay, Stealth Sea! You arrive at an outpost close to the Federation base. Your access codes get you past initial security, and an officer sets up a direct feed to the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What the hell's the meaning of this? Why you? Get the hell out of here, man. Explain your mission. Your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief am amongst the officers. General Thurzil of the Indian Brigade speaks up. Like, oh my god, you guys, Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. We're scholars safe none of it. You guys didn't even know that. You guys didn't even know that there is this giant flagship and you have to destroy it. And if you don't, it's going to be like 
kicking our butts and stuff. Becky was telling me about it. She was like sleeping around with some rebels or something, and they were telling her that there's this giant flagship and it's gonna destroy us. And uh, blah, blah, blah. You guys didn't listen. Explain the weakness. So I respond, it's settled. The rebels will be in a matter of moments. We do the kind of hold off the warships, but it must succeed at the flank. This flagship be good. All the boats could ride some bales and pool. The other passage you can as well. Good luck. Get out of here, space choppers. Get the space choppers. Flagship's pretty far away from the base. It's cool. Fucking boarding drones, anyways. You friggin' dead, man. 53 scrap, one missile and a drone parts. You're no good, you garbage. This ship would benefit so tremendously from having a uh, clone bay on it, because this med bay is a piece of garbage. <laughs> a two slot med bay, if it was in the middle room, it would make such a tremendous difference, because then you could actually like run people in and out of the room, you know? But I don't know, whatever. It's like I'd almost rather it be a one slot med bay, like, but like in this spot. I mean, maybe I really wouldn't prefer that, but still. Lost a repair station already. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're gonna take forever to get here. Twenty-four scrap, five, four, and five. Yep. Ah, come on. No, I want this beacon. It's gonna have something cool on it, like candy. Ah, uh, garbage. Okay. Let's see here. What do we want to upgrade? I have a million points in the engines that I don't need. I think we're gonna use the uh, the glaive halberd small bomb. Just murder them. Get a value point there. All right, seems good. Uh, that stealth weapons, yeah. All right, sounds good, I guess. I suppose. Good luck, have fun, to good or die, kill all ally victory, no BS. I'll wait here for him. If they don't hack my weapons, it'll be great. Why this weapon setup? Because it one shots the flagship. I can deal 25 points of damage to them, which is kind of hilarious. So this glaive beam should fire 
So this is only four rooms, but we're actually getting five room hits here because it hits here and here. And then it hits this room again when the beam moves into this square. But anyway, this should fire the exact second that they recloak, assuming that they repair this in time. They didn't repair it in time, so they're just dead, but... It's pretty good. 21 scrap, 3 fuel, 2 missiles. It's pretty good. This means we're on the third farm, we're gonna like deal with a million fucking crew. <laughs> So you can kind of see it in action here. Uh, I'll let the glade beam fire. So you're going to see two threes pop up. And then, and then another three pops up like right after. So you can see here, there's two, three twos here. Two, two, two. Nineteen scrap, three fuel, two missiles. Get him. Get him, got him, good. So that that's why we're using this weapon setup, because... One shot in the flagship is kind of hilarious. With only two weapons, especially. Small Bomb's just kind of playing a little support role. This weapon setup gets a lot worse for the third form of the flagship, but... Oh, we'll see if we can still do it anyway. We're, gonna have to deal. We're probably going to need to jump back to the base. Uh, I would definitely expect us to need to do that. Because where they're going to... They have, like, all their crew... Yeah, so I'll see how it goes. Oh, that's nice of them. I feel like if we uh, cloak level three, like right now, then we actually can get the power surge as well. It does kind of depend. Oh yeah, we absolutely get it. Like, holy shit, we get it. That that's a super lucky like variation of the of the thing, but I might be able to get him to come into this room, maybe. I should definitely 
Start that hack. No, I can't let you. Can't let. Can't have you do that. All right, fuck it. We'll just fight you in here then. I don't care. Whatever. Increase evasion. Increase evasion. Oh, we got hit. It's a lot of hits. Okay. All right. It appears to me that you are dead, sir. Later. Oh! Almost killed a human. What would we have ever done? We unlocked the Crystal Cruiser with that, too. 23. Word. English. Zucha. Leo. Michael. Crow. Beard. Filikov. GG. GG, boys and girls. What do we think the score was? What could it have possibly been? We got two runs done in under five and a half hours. That's unheard of. Remember, this is Price is Right rules, so closest without going over. Closest without going over. Um, I am going to guess, boy, um, 54.20. Fifty ninety four two five that two like really low scores. Fifty forty eight beard no beard said. Fifty forty eight. I this got to be the best. It's got to be the closest. Crazy. Great job, beard no beard. You have earned our respect and admiration, I guess. But more importantly, more importantly, you have earned our sincere gratitude. So try not to spend that all in one place, you know. Enjoy it. Bask in the glory of sincere gratitude. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty all right. Oh, boy. Yeah, you were on the ship. You did have the inside info. We've had a lot of low-score runs. I thought this was a more of a mid-score run, but... I guess, you know, we didn't have to buy a whole lot. Like, we were definitely, like... Like, you know, we had the Galapian free, cloaking for free, upgraded that once. 